Testing one, two, testing. Testies, testies. <laughs> so how's my hair? Is my hair all right? <laughs> San Francisco for uh, seven years. Uh, moved from Tahoe just to pursue music, and, and it, it looks like I'm doing it, I guess. <laughs> I think every little thing in life inspires me to make music. Everything that I make, it's so different. It's obvious what I'm going through when I'm making a song. If I'm pissed off at somebody, I'm gonna tear them a new, new arm and a leg, you know? Well, I mean, if you make me fall in love with you, you know, everyone's gonna know your name. And, and that's just the way it is, it's life. So, I'm into it. As a musician, you're never happy with anything that you do. If you are, it's short-lived and you get sick of it and you just find yourself motivating to a higher realm of, of music making, hoping that somewhere in the world you're, you're making your footstep, your ear step. <laughs> I am affiliated with oralism. They just kind of uh, fell upon me and my music and they fell in love with what I had to offer. Uh, they hadn't really heard anything like it. You'd have to kind of peel the underskin of somewhere to find music like oralism has been offering everyone out there. I'm really glad to be part of this. oversaturated scene of music throughout the world you know who's to decide what's really original and what's good or what not and what's gonna last and really it's who cares it's just all about being in the moment thing that comes out of oralism that will have its time and its place. We're all an evolving piece of this gigantic organism that is gonna rock. Right, I am the audience. Realistically everyone else is performing for me and if they're not performing good it means I'm not a good audience. Realistically. Yeah.